today is focus on language learning, but if we have time, I will also uh, talk about learning some other uh, areas of intelligence or uh, emotional intelligence. All of the things that I'm going to be talking about related to language acquisition also can apply to learning about mathematics or physical skills or other areas. But I'm going to focus primarily on language learning because of the abundance of research showing the long-term effects of early language learning and is greater for learning for a baby than it is uh, for someone who is older. That's because about 75% of the mass of the brain is formed by age two. So there's a very brief window where it's easy for babies to learn because their brains are developing so rapidly. So everything I'm going to be talking about is naturally playing and having fun with the baby in such a way to help brain development. And again, about 90% of the brain is developed by age five. There's a brief window of opportunity for learning language, and that just means that it's easier to learn language skills at a higher level. It doesn't mean you can't learn language skills later. You can still learn to read later. You can still learn a second language later, but it's easier to learn at a high level early in life. Spider. This baby's 15 months old. When I met her, I could understand all 200 words she read out loud, and usually only the parents can understand babies. This is my own daughter, Alika, at nine months, and I don't know why I don't hear it. There's supposed to be audio. That's me 24 years ago. I'm not saying the words. Um, I'm not saying them until after she does the words. So, so that says pointing, and she's pointing. That says foot. She's touching her foot. So she's saying some of the words. This baby's first language is Farsi. The mom spoke almost no English. And and spoke Farsi to her child, yet she learned to recognize the words in English. She's 14 months old. The dad didn't even know that said the word cat. You have to look and see. So, I just want to talk about this just very, very briefly, and then I will talk about the science behind it and more about the scientific rationale for why you may want to consider teaching babies many areas of language at the same time. So I'm sitting there with a the toy. Arms up. The baby's watching this, and if the parent is there, that's even Arms better. Down. But there are times when the parent's on the, on the phone, Arms on your laptop, and cooking, cleaning, doing anything down. else, or if it's in a, a school setting where you have 20 children that you need to attend to, and uh, you know sometimes you're better off having them interacting with a video that is actually designed to teach the children language skills. Again, there are over 10,000 spoken words in, in these five videos, so getting to the 30,000 spoken words a day, which most families actually don't get to, is very easy if, if you're using something like this. There are other baby videos where there are very few spoken words in them, and I highly recommend that you do not show them. Baby Einstein videos, for instance, uh, often would have four spoken words for the entire video. 